Every message you send on Discord, WhatsApp, Telegram is logged, scanned and stored, even the private ones. If you want a more anonymous way of talking with your friends, you're going to need your own chat server. In this video, we're going to show you how to build your own private chat server using IRC or Internet Relay Chat over Tor. Before we get started, let's first explain what IRC and Tor are, especially if you've never used them before. We actually got this idea from a comment we got on our Mr. Robot video. A big thank you to Mr. B20C0 for the comment. If you guys haven't seen the Mr. Robot video, it'll be linked in the description below. That comment actually got Clinton and I thinking, what? is IRC. I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know. We never knew what it was, so we started investigating. IRC is kind of like the original group chat protocol. It's old, it's, it's really old, but it's also super lightweight. There's no accounts, no logins, just servers and channels. It's kind of like texting over the internet, but in a more raw and direct kind of way. Tor, on the other hand, is short for the Onion Router. It's a privacy network that bounces your traffic through multiple relays to hide your IP address. When we combine IRC with Tor, we get an anonymous group chat. No tracking, no metadata, no accounts. So in this video, we are combining the old school chat functionality of IRC with the modern privacy of Tor. To build something that's more off grid, let's jump in. Okay, let's get started. So first things first, we need to update our packages. So just run a sudo apt update there to get started on that package update. Cool. So mine are pretty much updated. Then we need to install the IRC client and Tor. So we're going to use INSPIR IRCD and then Tor as well. So those are also installed. So that's why it's so quick. Now we need to just edit the config file. So sudo nano is my editor of choice and then etsy inspirc there and then .conf. Okay, cool. So now in here, you want to just obviously give your server a name. So I just gave mine Clinton side chat and then the most important is the bind address there. So that 127.0.0.1667 for Tor, the port, but we're going to come back to that now. So then go into your Tor file. So sudo Tor Tor rc and go down to the part where you see hidden services directory there and hidden services port you want to make sure those are uncommented so mine are uncommented but if there's a a hashtag there then just remove that as you can see the hashtag grays it out so now that they are green or yellow then you know that they're working there so cool those are all set up on our configuration so now we just want to start the irc service so i'm going to first restart tor and then i'm going to cat out the tor host name file so that i can get the name of the onion site that we're going to use in the demo here so i'm just going to now back into the tor rc file so that i can quickly get the directory where that host name is stored because i couldn't remember it but it's violib tor hidden services so just copy that and then cat it out cool so you need to run that as sudo as well. And then hidden service is the directory. So you need to put host name at the end of that. So there you go. There's your dot onion site. So just keep that in the terminal or write that to a text file because we're going to need it later. So now we're going to just once again enable the tool and the IRC service so that they start running on, on boot. Cool. So those have created the system link. And now we want to check the status of them and start them as well so we're just starting them up now cool so now i'm going to start the hex chat client as you can see it pops up this is the same client that they use in the mr robot series so if you've seen it before that is where you have so now i'm going to copy the onion name and then just paste it into the network settings there so you just want to remove that new server forward slash 6697 and replace it with your onion site cool so once that's done you can also uh, untick the use ssl for all servers on this network because we we haven't set up an ssl certificate for that and then you want to create the new network so just give it a name so make sure that that new network is the one with your onion site and then give it a name i'm just going to call it a clinton site cool and then connect to that and then you can see the connection failed so that's because we haven't set up the proxying in hex chat network servers so we need to do that now 
To do that, I'm just gonna start the IRC service and check the status so we can quickly see that it's enabled and that it's active and running, which is perfect, it's what we need it to be. And then I'm gonna start Tor again. So now Tor is running properly. As you can see, it's bootstrapped 100% down. So it's established the Tor circuit, which is what we need. Cool, so now back into hex chat. And as you can see, it's looking up that onion site and looking up a local host but it's logging us in now. So it's now looking up the host name, cool. So then it's like, do you wanna join a channel or open a channel list? So we don't have one. So we actually need to create a channel for the Clinton side network that we just connected to. So to do that, I'm just gonna type in join, forward slash join, and then the channel name. So a hashtag, and then the channel, I'm just gonna call it YouTube chat. So that's now created, as you see, we're now in the channel and now we can send messages. So I'm the Kali user and I'm gonna send, hey. And then this is the start of our chat, awesome. Please subscribe. And yeah guys, that is how you set up Hex Chat and IRC client with Tor. So have a good day. I hope you guys enjoyed that and learned something new today. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribe, it helps the channel grow. And with that, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.